Thank you. Our next question <laughs> comes from Joe Sacco. He's a realtor here. He is a Sanders supporter. Mr. Sacco, go ahead with your question. Secretary Clinton, <clears throat> as a realtor here in Nevada, I know personally how important the economy and the housing market is to the stability of our great nation. As the Democratic presidential candidate who has delivered speeches to the largest U.S. financial institution in exchange for hundreds of thousands of dollars in speaking fees, why are you hesitant to release transcripts or audio video recordings of those meetings in order to be transparent with the American people regarding the promises and assurances that you have made to the big banks? Well, let me say this. to release anything I have when everybody else does the same because every other candidate in this race has given speeches to private groups including Senator Sanders but let me get to the heart of your question I was the candidate who went to Wall Street before the crash I was the candidate who went to them and said you are wrecking our economy what you are doing with mortgages is going to bring us down I called to end the carried interest loophole for hedge fund managers. I called to rein in CEO pay. I now have the most effective and comprehensive plan to deal with the threats that Wall Street poses. And I go further than Senator Sanders does because I want to go after all the other bad actors. The bad actors like hedge funds, the bad actors like AIG, the insurance company, like Countrywide Mortgage. I take a backseat to nobody in being very clear about what I will do to make sure Wall Street never crashes Main Street again. And that you can count on. Secretary Clinton, I, I do respect you very much. In fact, only a decade ago, I was a very, very big supporter of yourself and your husband. It actually broke my heart when you said marriage was between a man and a woman. How can we trust that this isn't just more political rhetoric? Please just release those transcripts so that we know exactly where you stand. Well, you know where I stand because I've been in public standing there the whole time. But let me say, let me say something about this. You know, I, like many Americans, have evolved, and I'm glad I have. I am a 100% supporter. I am absolutely adamant about protecting marriage equality. And I think it's significant that the Human Rights Campaign, the leading organization in our country to ensure that the LGBT community has the rights they deserve, have endorsed me. Now, your candidate said, well, that's because they're a member of the establishment. Well, with all due respect, they fight against the establishment every single day. And I've been with them for years, and I will pass the Equality Act, too.